Good morning, everyone, and happy Halloween. I got another little video to share some vintage Halloween goodies with you. Um, I recently did a video of uh, vintage Halloween lights, and that was in the first box that I had brought up. Um, I had brought up another box, storage box, with different Halloween items in it, and there are more lights. I found a couple more boxes, so I'm going to make a sequel to the Halloween lights video. This is going to be the Vintage Halloween Lights video part two. You go down, you can see I've got a couple of them for you. We've got the Halloween 10 light set. And if this looks familiar, you remember I showed you the other set that had the ghosts. And this is the Happy Halloween 15 light set, where it spells out Happy Halloween. So it'll be easier for me to show you guys this by putting the camera up onto the tripod. All right, so let's start with this one first. You can see, oh, I don't want to bother my beautiful Enterprise. You can see a 10 Halloween light set, the deluxe decorative. You can see the haunted house. And I love the, uh, the packaging, the orange, the witch, the haunted house, the jack-o'-lanterns, the picket fence, the ghost. Look at the ghost has his tongue sticking out. <laughs> For indoor or outdoor use, straight line construction, replaceable push-in bulbs, bulbs stay on if a light goes out, pre-tested, total length is 10 feet. And again, I had shown you guys the ghosts, and these are the jack-o'-lanterns. You've got the cat on the jack-o'-lantern and the gravestone at the tree, and the bats. So you can see the side. This is not a toy, this is a Halloween decoration. And the ends of the box, let's see. I think uh, pretty straightforward, they're the same on both sides, and both, uh, both ends rather, and both sides are the same. So let's look at the back. There's uh, instructions on the back. You can see it's features straight line cord. If one light goes out, the rest stay lit, all pre-tested, replaceable. Now that means if it burns out, they'll stay lit. But if you remove one of the bulbs, the other uh, set goes off. Safety plug with replaceable fuse. Unplug the set, locate the side panel on the plug, slide the panel open as shown on the right to expose two fuses inside. Replace the blown darkened fuse with new fuses. Close the cover. Use only 125 volt fuse, three amps max. You can see the convert, to convert this set, the set converts easily from blinking to steadily burning. Replace the blinking bulb with the spare bulb included in the package and that bulb has the, the red top. Comes with two spare bulbs, straight line construction, 12 inch spacing between decorations for indoor or outdoor use. Important, please read the following directions and it shows you the caution and the warnings. Changing bulbs, do not twist the bulb. To remove the bulb, grasp the plastic base of lamp only and pull straight up while holding the socket firmly in place. Align the base of the lamp, a long hole, oblong hole and socket and push until the new bulb is firmly seated and it will light up. Um, you can see manufacturing number 94003, and that's pretty small. I don't really see a date on that, but like I usually do, if I see a date, I'll put it up for you guys. So let's open it up, and we'll take a look. Ooh, look at all the pumpkins. Let's get them all out of the box. And the way we used to decorate with these is we used to have the ghosts intertwine with the pumpkins. And for every every other ghost, and then we'd set it up where every other one was a pumpkin. So let's plug it in. Ooh, now the lights are burnt. That's a good thing. Let me show you guys. Spooky Halloween jack-o'-lantern. It's just something about orange jack-o'-lanterns that are lit up that just brings me back to my childhood. I just love them. And 
is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and there's 11 of them. Oh, wait a minute. It says 10 light set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm sorry, there are 10. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Looks like one of the bulbs is really low. Let's see. Yeah, this one could be on its way out. Let me show you guys what they mean when you replace a bulb. You can hold it firmly in place. You can pull the pumpkin off right away. And you have the light. Some of them have little clips that you have to lift up in order to pull a bulb out, but these don't. You bolt, just grab it by the base, just like that, and they all go out. Put in your new bulb, and you're ready to go. And you just take the pumpkin and you slide it back on, just like that. So these are really, really fun Halloween decorations. So let's take the camera off the tripod and I'll show you guys a better view of them. Here we go. This is a little bit better. You can see all the pumpkins. This is kind of like how they would look in a pumpkin patch growing. You get the lights, the box, and he's smiling. Happy Halloween! Again, we would mix it with the ghosts. So we'd have a ghost pumpkin, ghost pumpkin, and we put it in our living room, and we had a staircase that went up to the upstairs, and we would intertwine the lights. Actually, my wife was the one that did the staircase, and she would intertwine and make it alternate with a ghost and a pumpkin. My wife does the staircase for, for Christmas as well, and she does a really nice job on the staircase. But this, is the 10 light set of jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, this is a complimentary set to the ghosts that I had shown you. So let's go ahead and we're gonna look at the other set of lights. Okay, so look at that. We got another set of lights. Boxes is $6.99. Halloween for indoor and outdoor use. Happy Halloween. This is a 15 light set. There is six inch spacing between the letters. Meets all, meets all new US uh, UL safety standards. You can see. Happy Halloween. Lighted letters spell out Happy Halloween. Festive touch. And it's got the jack man in between the words. And you can see the side of the box. Pretty much the same. I don't see a gate. Let's see. Pretty much the same photo on the sides of the box, on all sides actually. And the back, you've got the writing with the uh, the information. Halloween, important safety instructions. Read and follow all safety instructions. And I don't see a date on this one either. Um, but you can see, use servicing instructions. The same thing when you replace the fuses. There are two fuses. And when you replace the bulbs, it's kind of the same as we showed you in the last set of lights. So that's all the information that's printed on the back of the box. And it's got the, uh, the open window so you can see. So let's take a peek in the box. Let's see if I can keep the box around. I don't know if that'll stay or not. Oh, look! <laughs> look who crawled in. So the kids used to wear these a lot. We used to get little treat bags, and I used to make treat bags for my kids. I used to put little, little Halloween toys in, and this was one of them. I think I'm going to give it to my daughter today, <laughs> so she can wear it for Halloween. That'll be, that'll be fun. All right, so we'll put him aside. And you can see the light, the plug. And it's going to spell out Happy Halloween. Now, I don't want to take all of them out because it's, it's a pain to get them all back in. Plus, it'll be easier to show you guys this way. So let's plug it in. 
And the way our house was, at the old house, we had a really large window in the living room. And we would put this in the window. And I don't know if we would tape onto the pane of the glass, or we use one of those suction cord, uh, little suction cups. You can see the lettering. And let me show you guys the little decoration that's in the middle. It's actually a little, little pumpkin. And he separates the words from Happy Halloween. So let me take the camera down and it'll give you a better view of the, uh, the lights. Yeah, that looks really cool. It's almost like, like a burning embers, like when you have a fire outside. Ooh, that's nice and warm. Actually, I'm just kidding. They don't throw any heat. Um, actually, they do get a little bit warm. And that was from, let's see, what letter is the L? So one of the L's came off. And it does spell out Happy Halloween. Like the, the little Jack Lunar. He's smiling. He's doing his job. Looking very Halloweenish. H, we got the A, and we've got a couple of P's, and there's the Y. Um, there's the Y, and then we have the little Jacqueline, and then we have another H, another L. Uh, excuse <laughs> yeah, right. An A. What am I talking about? These are the L's. A couple of L's. And let's see, where's the, the O? And no, this is not an M. This is a W. A couple of E's and the N at the back. Happy Halloween. And in order to get these back into the box, it's a pain because everything was, you know, it's it's funny how they put the, uh, it must be automated where a machine puts all the lights in. And the way they, they twist the wires and a lot of them just, they look really cool. And then when you pull them out, it's almost like impossible to get back in. And this is kind of a mess, but um, I don't know if we're gonna take these out this year for Halloween or I wanna show you guys a bunch of more stuff that's coming up in future Halloween videos. Because this is the time of year to do it. Let's see, today is September 30th. So tomorrow is October 1st, and tomorrow uh, we'll be starting our Halloween build. Let me show you guys a Flying Dutchman. And I'll be doing an unboxing and showing you everything. And that'll be the first part of the build. And this is such a fun time of the year. The miserable heat and humidity is gone, and we've got the cool, crisp air. And here in New England, the leaves are starting to change. And this is just an awesome time of the year. So, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this short video showing you the couple of light sets. And there'll probably be more light sets in the other boxes, I'm not sure. But if they are, I'll definitely show them to you. I thank you very much for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy Halloween.